Two legends joining us in studio today, Alter Irving, Cindy Alter, and of course Stuart Irving. Are you still guys? You guys still having a good time with us on Expressa? This is yeah, the absolute really cool. ball. Yeah, it really <laughs> has you been guys so are cool. awesome. Thank you very much for yeah. having us. No, it's, it's really, really a great privilege having you. And we spoke early on in the kitchen about how you each started your stories. Yes. But tell us about the initial meeting when the two of you got together and decided to start off this uh, this amazing uh, musical. It was a very sort of uh, serendipitous thing because my record company that I was with at the time um, was, we were doing a clout reunion, which was my old band. Yeah. And it just wasn't going anywhere for me and I was, I was very frustrated. I wanted to go back to LA and I wanted to just leave it and, and thought, you know, maybe I made a mistake coming back here. And uh, Chris, this guy from the record company said to me, you know what, Stuart Irving's just come back from the UK. Why don't you just chat to him? See, maybe he's doing something that you two can do together. And I was like, well, I know Stu's a great singer. I'd worked with him in the past. I mean, not worked with him, but we'd seen him. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know if he could play an instrument or whatever. And so I went around to his house. We sat in his little... Tea. He did, he made <laughs> tea. Of course he does. He's so tea. English. He always <laughs> does the tea thing. And he, he and I just sat down with two guitars and the two singers. Yeah. And we just started playing some old cover stuff and it was like magic oh my it was God. like magic it was. yeah it was, it was and really, really you, guys, you guys have actually kept that magic going on through the years and i know you've got a very interesting philosophy when it comes to how you produce your music you don't believe in going very electro and very modern technologically Steve? no we don't we don't use the backing track thing it's one thing that we've held very sort of true to that whole philosophy thing mm. you know, we, we wanted to keep it real and, and and sometimes that's worked against us as well because some people say Oh, how does that work? You know, well, we, want to, to we want a boof, boof, boof yeah. kind of band. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then it's that's not us, you know. Yeah. And also when we record our album, we've kept it very yeah. organic. I mean, we've yeah. used all yeah. real yeah. instruments, yeah. you know. Yeah. There hasn't been any electronic on it. But that's just our style. Yeah, true. You know, there's other people that are using that stuff and it works for them. Yeah. But I mean, you've managed to reinvent yourselves all these years over and over again to, yeah. to a point where even now, we, even young people can enjoy your music, whether boof, boof, boof or not, right? <laughs> yeah. I want to talk about quickly, just an interesting point, when you wrote your song, your first song at the age of 15, what did you write about? You know what, it was a funny thing, it, uh, something about a mountain and an eagle's nest, I don't even remember. <laughs> I've got to be honest with you, but I do remember it was quite profound. For but a 15 then at year old. 15 years old, you know, your angst-filled youth, you do believe you're writing stuff of great importance to the world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, God. You now, know how you are. Uh, I've got the privilege of holding this guitar in my hand. A very beautiful piece, first of all, 12, 12 string acoustic guitar. Tell me about it. It's made of a very interesting material. Yeah, well, an ovation is made from um, material that helicopter blades are made of. Wow. This is like a kind of a Teflon kind of thing. It's a very different material. Mm -hmm. And um, the two ovations have this certain sound, you know, they've got this big this. ball. And what's the this? What's this at the back of the um, time? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, says, it originally had the the the, um, input, the there. input there yeah. for the for the guitar lead. Yes. And um, we had a new I had a new um, pickup put on. Yes. So they put it mounted on top of the guitar and they had to close it. So the, the guys that were making it just thought, oh, well, how can we close it nice? And they put a little boob on the end there. <laughs> oh, so is that what it actually so, is? Yes. A little okay. A little <laughs> but uh, let's let's talk about I mean you've had some struggles going through the years, not just musically but personally as well. Yes. Your struggle with with cancer and how yes. you came through that. Tell me about that. That, you know, it's a huge wake-up call. It's like either you die or you wake up. You know, those are your choices. Yeah. And um, I chose to wake up and to just say, you know what, whatever I'm doing right now is not working for me. I'm still carrying too much baggage from my past. I'm just not dealing with it right. Yeah. And and now I want to get the message and I, and I just got it. Amazing, amazing And, and it changed my life, came back here to heal, yeah. literally. Yeah. And that's why I met Stu, you know, we were meant to to do yeah, this. To we were definitely together, meant yeah. to do this. We are the most fabulous couple as as, as a working couple because we have no other uh, um, interest in each other yeah. other than 
having we're an buddies. amazing friendship yeah. and working together. Speaking of which, we just bonded over a little song right now, hey? Yes, so we, we played off with the people. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm begging you to please don't take my man. You go, baby. I want to